Stab it up and go. Well, I had a little girl, little lady love. I used to love me, but she down no more. Stab it up, you woman. You gotta stab it up, you girl. Well, you sure cannot stand it. Sure gotta stab it up and go. Thank you. 
Nos encontramos en la Plaza de la Inmaculada disfrutando del bus eléctrico. Estamos con uno de los grupos que forman parte del cartel del Palencia Negro. Estamos con Do House, Sam and his magnatons. How are you guys? We're doing great and we're very glad to be here in uh, the great city of Palencia in Spain. Yes. Is your first time here in Spain? No, actually we've been uh, around quite a few times. Uh, we've played in, in, in Madrid and, and Barcelona and Urense, Bilbao, Santander. But it's the first time in Palencia. Sorry that I don't speak uh, more Spanish. I know two sentences. Hola, ¿qué tal? And Esri, hello. And all the members of the bands are from Belgium. Uh, no, I am from Belgium. My name is Doghouse Sam. You can check out the website www.doghousesam.com. These guys are actually from the Netherlands. This is Frankie Gomez. He does the bateria, or how do you say it in, in uh, Spanish? Bateria, the, the drums. And uh, he makes sure that it, the percussion is going on and everybody's shaking their ass and stamping their feet. So everybody's having a good time. Also, selected best drummer of uh, the Netherlands a few years ago. So that's, that's why. Uh, we're very happy to have him in the band and the same story for our uh, upright bass player he's playing the doghouse bass as we call it and uh, he, he came in the band a little bit later but he's been all around uh, Europe backing up uh, all kinds of roots artists so we're very very proud and honored having Martin Ubax in the band as well and he's from uh, the Netherlands as well and where did you meet well, um, in the blues community, it's 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 um, it's kind of a situation where everybody knows everybody, and uh, we just have to make a few phone calls because we live quite a, a distance from each other. But uh, I knew Frankie because I know him as a kick-ass drummer, and I gave him a call and I said, "Hey, I'm starting up this band, Doghouse Sam and his Magnetone, and I need a drummer. How do you feel about joining it?" And he said, "Yes." Oh. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and the same for Martin, he joined in a little bit later, um, and, uh, but we're, as I said, uh, we're very lucky to have him in the band and uh, he's, been, uh, he's, he's, he's quite a virtuoso on, on the upright bass, so, uh, and the same thing, a phone call can do miracles and that's how we meet and we've been uh, playing now for uh, like two years together I think, uh, with, with Martin on the bass, or, or three years, and uh, everything is going well, so, and tonight, come on over here and witness the show yourself. Uh, what made you start this project? Well, uh, obviously to say we all love blues music, uh, it's actually, there's all kinds of good music and we love all kinds of good music, but there's always one kind of music that tops at all and uh, it's a kind of a language that unifies us all I don't speak Spanish but I'm sure when the people come on over here tonight that they will understand us because of the blues music and that's what un unites us all and that's the wonderful thing about uh, the blues and that's uh, that's why we started this band I also like in fact, we also like having it simple but not easy we only have a uh, uh, contrabajo, 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 batteria and guitar. Um, so it's it's only three instruments on stage, but we try to make a big sound, magnetone. And how were your beginnings in music? Uh, actually, I learned the, the first instrument that I learned to play was the harmonica. I will pl be playing here in Palencia some harmonica as well. Um, but I've been playing since I was 16, and I don't know about these guys. How old were you when you started drums? Five. five years. <laughs> five. And, five. and Martin, I, I don't like know. Uh, what? Twelve. Uh, Twelve years. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. So I, w I was the, the latest to start with uh, music. <laughs> sixteen <laughs> years, but uh, I'm yeah. only sixteen years yeah. old. Yeah, he's the he's the oldest <laughs> guy in the band. So. <laughs> <laughs> Your Henry is a uh, rhythm and blues, uh, but you have some influences. Can you describe me your uh, music style? Yeah, as I said, we, we we do like blues a lot. It's the the music dearest to our hearts. But we 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 like to have a little bit of variation for ourselves as musicians on stage, but as well for the audience who is listening. It's 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 nice to have some variation in the music. So we throw in some gospel, some country music, some boogie, some swing, all kinds of roots music. Actually, that's that's what we like to do. Yeah. So uh, and we're kind of proud of it that we created our own sound, our own vibe with Doc House Sam and his magnetone. So you can you can check it out on, on Spotify and, and the websites and everything and you can can listen for yourself actually. How many albums did you release until now? 
Uh, we got three full albums, which are online everywhere on all uh, the, the streaming platforms. Uh, we got like a little EP, I think we got a vinyl uh, and we're going back in the studio for to have a fourth album uh, this fall. So uh, we're exploding with creativity at this okay. moment. So yeah. And in which language do you usually sing? Uh, singing because we do mainly blues music the native tongue for playing that music is english so that's why we do most of the things and i think all of the things in uh, in english yeah your mother tongue is french i suppose no no uh, in belgium it's kind of uh, complicated it's very complicated we got three languages in belgium you got uh, the Ger German, German, Dutch, and and uh, French. I, I'm from the Dutch speaking part, so that's my main tongue, as well as for these guys. But I can speak French and uh, Spanish. Those two sentences. <laughs> and you compose your uh, letters in Dutch or in English? English, English. Yeah, we do write our own music. So all the albums we have, it's all original material. Uh, we kind of like it like that uh, and give it our own twist. And uh, also the new album will all be original music. Yeah, that's how we like it. Uh, what is the song you like to perform the most? The sound. The the. Um, what is the song that you like to the song? The song. Oh, that's a that's a difficult question because you wow. you oblige me to say that we we only play good songs. We like to play them all. Tonight we we have we do a 75 minute set and it will we'll try to do all of them good songs. So uh, maybe one particular song in the middle, which I don't know if people will see this before the show or after the show, but there's one song where we gather around one mic and come really close that's a special one which we like to do but in general we like to do all the doghouse sam songs and do you have some influences from other artists yeah i think so i think it's individual for me i mainly am inspired of course by guitar players or singers or harmonica players drummers bass players uh, for me the her for harmonica today i, I like a guy like Kim Wilson a lot and also of course the, the originals Little Walter and Sonny Boy Williamson you can still hear the influences uh, because we, we try to uh, have respect for the old school rhythm and blues and you will hear and recognize some stuff but we we play it with for 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 um, fresh ears for uh, with a modern twist in it so um, that's that's the kind of mix and originality we like to do we play old school rhythm and blues but we we give it a little bot and in uh, modern times uh, era so that it gives a more fresh uh, sound and vibe yeah the name of your band is Doghouse Sam and his Magnetones and where did you, uh, the name came from well Magnetones I think I said it's because we are only with three guys on stage but we make a big sound a Magnetone and for as me Doghouse Sam that's a well-kept secret I cannot tell you I'm very sorry there's a big story there but uh, <laughs> it's a secret if you only knew, yeah. <laughs> and how do you prepare before going out for a concert? Do you have some amulets or something like that? Uh, no, I don't think so. We just... Uh, yes, us. Yeah. <laughs> These guys uh, are my... Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty nervous guy and these guys always calm me down. So, no, we don't have a, like a, a routine or something to, to go on stage. We're actually three really relaxed guys. We just come on stage, we pluck and we play right yeah. that's what we love yeah and until now which is your uh, biggest challenge uh, being a musician the biggest challenge uh, i think especially because we play the genre of blues music sometimes people say every note in the blues genre has been played well we try to bring a little bit more originality and freshness to the music because we, we write original songs and we try to make the original songs not plain rip-offs from the old guys but we try to add a little bit of uh, originality uh, in the, the riffs or the hooks uh, I used to sing in a gospel choir and uh, you can hear that actually in the vocal melodies which we do it's not typical blues but it's more a little bit more influenced by gospel and and he, he plays in all kinds of genres of, of, of music with his, his drums and you can hear that sometimes it's it's more a, a swampy groove or, or a shuffle groove and uh, so yeah like that and where do you usually perform in which uh, stage well 
actually we are very lucky because blues is of course not the mainstream genre but we've been uh, playing quite some countries with this band we've been in more than 15 countries actually and uh, for this weekend today we play in Spain tomorrow we play in Belgium and Sunday we play in the Netherlands but we've also been in, in, in Sweden we've been in Poland we've been in Germany England uh, Portugal, Tenerife, uh, yeah, we're we're very lucky actually to be. We we, we play quite a lot in, in in many different countries. And how was your experience in the European um, Blues Challenge? Yeah, that that helped us getting in all those countries because it's it's uh, in the European Blues Challenge. It's it's kind of a thing where every country selects his or her best blues band and they all come together and then perform, perform some songs and uh, it's a good thing to promote the band of course and we, 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 we did really well in the European Blues Challenge uh, a few years back and that opened up quite some doors and made that we played in quite a few countries so yeah it was good. And would you consider participate in another competition like for example Eurovision uh, representing the Netherlands or for example Belgium? Uh, nope. <laughs> Why not? Uh, that's not our thing because um, music. nothing against the Euro Eurovision, everybody. But it's it's uh, what what we it's it's not our our thing. Uh, it, what what we try to do is is really music from the heart, roots music uh, with with true stories. Uh, uh, simple but not easy. That's our genre. I think Eurovision is more mainstream and it's more about show and entertainment uh, I have nothing against that but we we I, I like it more to have the the true stories that speak to the heart and that's how we make music that's how we play together and that's how we write our songs and it's completely and it has absolutely nothing to do with your song uh, yeah, there are uh, artists do you have do you want to collaborate with um, but it, 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 as I said, in the blues, everybody knows everybody. So it's sometimes it happens when we play that we, we know when musicians in, in the audience and that they come and join us. And, and with music, you can because it's improv improvisational music. But uh, actually, uh, what we like, and we're also there, very lucky, the three of us, it's like three hands together in one pocket. And we can make all the music we want with only these three guys. And that's that's... That's, we're really blessed to have that actually so uh, yeah we're, we're feeling pretty comfortable with only the three uh, guys on stage and we're gonna keep it like that yeah, yeah. more room in the van yeah more, <laughs> more, more room in the van more food for us too yeah. <laughs> and could you tell me something about your upcoming uh, music projects yeah the, um, like I said uh, there, there's a fourth CD coming up uh, so keep an eye on that on the website or Facebook or Instagram. Uh, s uh, check us on the social uh, media. So we'll, we'll, I think that's the main uh, project that we'll, we will have. We will have that new CD out and we hope to continue to be able to play lots of venues and lots of stages like here, Palenth. Palencia, you, you guys say it with a big tongue sometimes, like Palencia. I cannot do it like that, but I try. Palencia, and, and how do you say it? Palencia and Negro. Hey, my Spanish is getting better. <laughs> and finally, how do you see your future as a band? Well, um, <laughs> let's let's end with uh, with a nice quote. I hope we can we can play with this uh, lineup with Martin on the bass, with Frankie on the drums, me on the guitars. If you'll have me guys uh, and 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 keep on making good music keep on making original songs putting on uh them on on an album and bringing it out and and play great venues we love to travel we come we, we love to come to to spain so uh we hope to play a good show tonight make new fans and that we'll meet again in the future okay, uh, thank you for this interview and good luck with the concert yeah thank you thank you for <laughs> having uh, your interest for us okay Bye bye. Gracias. Os dejamos con dos house, dos house, Sam and his Magnatons, que formarán parte del cartel de Palencia en Negro, un festival que tiene unos cuantos años de historia en nuestra ciudad y que tiene un gran arraigo entre los palentinos. Palencia, Palencia, or something like that, eh? If I want to do it correct. We're Doghouse Sam and his Magnatons. We got Martin over there on the upright bass. How about it? And the charming looking guy in the middle, he listens to the name Frankie Gomez. And we're Dog Out Sam and his Magnetones. Come on!
shoulders under me Started my engine Built up the heat Well, it ain't somebody else's fault That I'm gonna be here Live for long Tell me, darling Nothing less to pursue Somos Dog House Sam in his magnetones, de Belgica. Bienvenidos a Palencia o Negro. No hablo español, pero he traduc traducido. Wait, wait. No hablo español, pero he traducido algunas frases con el smartphone. ¿Entiendes cuando digo esto? Sí. Impresionante. Sí. Well, give you a little, little time. All right. How about some swing? All right. Ooh, yeah, make it swing, man. Are you ready, guys? Everybody ready? One, two, one, two, three. Smoky on my back, give it gets too heavy, I get him back. You better bear in mind, there's lots to do in little time. You don't wanna stay behind. There'll be plenty of time now, let it you unwind. Well, I'm gonna make it do, make it do what it do. Taking care of this, there's so much to do, I gotta choose. Stop, plenty of stew, get out of my way, I'm coming through. You don't wanna fall behind.
the wrist to gain. Buckle up, brother, bring on the Jews. I got an itch, a scratch, a monkey on my back like a fox getting round in the chicken shed. You don't want to fall behind. Gracias por hacernos sentir tan bienvenidos a su hermosa ciudad de Palencia. Hola, ¿qué tal? Muy bien. Cerveza. This one is called Knock Knock, and if you feel like dancing and having a good time, you go ahead. Here we go. Come in. 